Now we all know that contact sports have a lot of risks involved. Now my question today is what can we do to make these sports safer? So firstly, a little bit about me. My name's Bailey Wilson. I'm the captain of the Utah Warriors, a professional rugby team based here in Salt Lake City. Actually, at the time of you watching this video, I will be in San Diego, California at the USA Olympic Training Center. I've played rugby for 17 years now. I've also played a couple of other contact sports too. So it's safe to say that I've played a few contact sports in my lifetime. Um, now, firstly, there's a few different sports that classify as contact sports. Now, the definition may vary depending on who you ask, um, but there's going to be your more traditional sports such as boxing, football, rugby, wrestling, martial arts, where the sport is designed around contact. And then there's the non-traditional contact sports, sports where contact still happens, but it's not the aim of the game. These are going to be sports like basketball, lacrosse, uh, and sometimes even soccer. Now, one thing these sports all have in common is that there's a lot of injuries involved. Now, these injuries will range and vary at times. Sometimes they can just be a sprained ankle or a torn ligament, uh, and other times they can be a broken bone or even a concussion. Uh, and that is what we're trying to avoid. Concussions are the worst offenders on this list. So most of these rules are aimed around uh, limiting concussions. Now that brings me to my first point, technique. Technique is vital. Technique needs to be taught from a very young age and installed into the little kids as they grow up playing the sports. Technique looks different in different kinds of sports. For example, technique in rugby is making contact with your shoulder and wrapping and putting your head to the backside of the running player. The reason we do this is in rugby is because there's no pads involved. Now football, on the other hand, what they will do sometimes is lead with their head at the running player's knees. You can see how this may be harmful for both people involved. Um, there's one team, however, the Seattle Seahawks that have implemented a rugby style tackle technique. Um, and over the years, as they've taught this technique, what they've seen is the rate of concussions go down drastically. They've also seen the injury rates of other things go down as well. Now, my second point is the right equipment. Now, equipment is vital and it's super important because without it, you may not be able to play the correct sport. And if you use the wrong equipment, you could be putting yourself and other people at danger. Um, and that brings me to my third point, safer rules. Now, this is a little bit of a touchy subject because some people might not want to see the sports change too much. However, there are still very uh, many things that we can do to implement and different rules that we can tweak while still keeping the integrity of the sport the same. Uh, these are gonna be things like, as a, like age and weight classes, uh, making little kids compete against people that are the same weight as them. So you don't have a 250 pound 12 year old running over a 150 pound 12 year old. It's just not fair. Um, there are also other safer rules that we can do as well. So things like tackle height in rugby. So you can't tackle a player above their neck. Um, these are gonna be rules that will make the player's uh, longevity in the sport go up as they're getting injured less often. Um, this brings me to my last point, stretching and recovery. Stretching and recovery are very important. Uh, make sure to do a warm up and a cool down after you participate so your body can stay optimal and primed. Uh, it will also help you better control these collisions. Thank you.